food is poverty, having not enough food to go around in the house is affecting a lot of those levels of people and families. It's everywhere, it's not just Enderley, it's right across the city. The poverty is still there. I, I don't even think that's even gonna change. Here is what's called Annie's Corner. It's actually my shed. For about three years, I was giving food out to any family randomly around the Hamilton city because I had, at the time, met a, a organisation called Kaivolution. Their capable was no waste. Is that far back enough, Simon? Baby food's gone, yeah. went this morning, and um, went, so we need some more of that, and that white mayo. Where they get their food from is uh, high-end uh, bakeries, cafes, and also supermarkets. But people like me, if we were able to get out to families, to we could have all this food please. from them. The amount of people that needed Kai back then uh, uh, yeah, I, I was amazed and I think that's what kept me going. <laughs> when I first came into the street, I was, I was a kid. I remember mum coming here a lot and that was because her cousins, her aunties and uncles lived in the neighbourhood here. We're there for each other, our relationships are, are close. It feels like a papa kainga if it wasn't for fences in the road. You know, if I, if I could take that fence down, I would. <laughs> With my whole nine, having six of my own, I've got 38 grandchildren. Most of them live in Australia. But they started going away because it was poor living. There was a lot of poverty. They didn't want to raise their kids in that situation. A lot of things have happened that have made the families break down like that. Food prices going up, uh, rental prices going up, you know, lack of jobs. From that, families started to, to be displaced. You know, you had to move on somewhere else to live. You couldn't afford to stay in a, a wider family setting. It was impossible to live that way. And that forced our families out and about and all over the place. You know, it's getting more and more obvious when you don't see any work getting done that we may, in fact, not be getting any of that public purse coming over our way. And that said, along with everything else, this does not help to get your neighbourhood up. People across the city and afar can come to my place, to my shed, and get as much food as they like for their families. So we have a lot of community volunteers. Because I don't need to carry the food all around the city now, I actually can get more food from them because it comes back to one spot and all the people come here. So we open at normally 10 o'clock in the morning for about three, maybe four hours from Tuesday to Saturday. We can get hundreds of people in this gate. Like on Saturday, we had 250 people in our gate. That was because we've also got an Annie's Corner Hamilton New Zealand Facebook page. So every night I'm regularly posting up and describing the quantity of the load that we've just picked up from Kaivolution. For example, I've picked up a super, super load tonight, everybody. Everyone knows what that means. I just wish that we were a lot richer. You know, you put, you put so much into life and the kids and, and all the rest of it. 
you know, I'd just like to you know, see more richness come into our community. Like nice cars and beautiful homes with beautiful landscape, you know. Um, and that may be a swimming pool, you know, those sort of luxury things. That would be nice to see. You know, so oh look, would you like to come over to our place, have a swim, bring the kids and that, but yeah, it's like come over and get the hose out.